road is a pretty simple and easy task. But building a road, well, that takes a lot of hard work and a lot of maths. Hi, I'm Ben, and today we're going to be taking a look at the engineering that goes into a giant roadway. This roadway will be 2.8 kilometres long and up to 18 metres high. The first thing to consider is the foundations. These support the weight of everything that sits above it. Foundations stop the piers from sinking into the ground and keep the roadway from moving side to side. Deeper foundations are stronger and we've figured out that ours need to be 27 metres deep. The entire roadway is supported by 740 of these concrete piles. On top of the piles sit the piers. You'll notice a couple of shapes that are common in construction, arches and triangles. Both of these shapes are very strong because they transfer the force down evenly without weak spots where the shape could break. Each of our piers needs to be able to support up to 3,500 tonnes and we'll end up with 68 of them about 60 metres apart. When we build the roadway on top of the piers, we need to make sure it's balanced and the weight is distributed evenly. We use special machinery to lift two segments up and into position on either side of the pier. Then we start to attach the segments to the front and back, keeping this even so that the pier starts to look a bit like a capital T. Eventually the segments from one pier will reach the segments from another and form the roadway. The segments are also made of concrete and steel and can weigh up to 90 tonnes. We're using more than 2,200 segments that can be up to 5 metres high, 8 metres wide at the bottom and 20 metres wide at the top. Even though they look similar, each segment has a slightly different shape to suit a specific position in the roadway and fits exactly to the segments on either side. A bit like beads on a necklace, the segments are all connected by long steel cables. To support the segments, we pull the steel cables tight in a process called tensioning. We calculate how much we can stretch the cable so that it's tight but not about to break. We also consider how much weight the cable will bear and then tighten it with a special jack. This stops the segments from sagging in between the piers. Another important thing to take into account is the angle, or the camber, of the roadway. Most roads are raised in the middle so that water can run off. The slope down from the centre is called the crossfall, and we measure this as a percentage. For a straight section of road, the crossfall will be 3%. This means for every metre, the level of the road decreases by 3 centimetres. When the roadway curves, we use a technique called super-elevation to raise the outside edge of the road. This helps vehicles turn by transferring the force from their wheels straight down and keeping them on the road. The sharper the corner is, and the faster the cars will be travelling, the steeper the roadway will be, up to 5% or 5 centimetres per metre. So as you can see, engineers like me have a lot to think about to build a road that drivers don't have to think about at all.